Hey all, welcome to episode 6 of my Pokemon Platinum and my Zaz Lock. Today we will be going through and trying to find the first gem leader of the region, of the center region, Tristan, who is traditionally a rock type. We actually know where he is, but we need to go ahead and uh, check, quickly run down and see where he is. Or where he is. We need to run down and uh, talk to him. As I said, we already know where he is. Look at that loop, it was completely pointless. Should be... I think there's an item over here. Uh, yes, there is. There's two of them. Hyper Potion, that would be really useful. And a big mushroom coming out of a big mushroom. Go figure. At least it looks like a mushroom. And as well as a dive ball. Let's hope we can find water type, huh? Here, Stardust, that is fantastic. I believe you can get encounters in this cave, I'm not completely sure. Hey, look, another Pokeball. It contains a star piece. Wow, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, quite, uh, astrological mountain. Oh, it's so tough. Breaks it with his mind. I thought he was a rock type leader, not a uh, psychic. There's. And we do find a Pokemon right there. It is a Growlithe. That is cool with me. Wonder what it has. That's uh, some power right there. I'm actually kind of happy having a teammate because it means that we don't have as much of a uh, chance of fainting it mistakenly. Oh, well, we lost our first encounter in the cave. That is very unfortunate. That or just wow. And then we find Diglett. A little nugget. And I've got to do team recap. I am such a pro. Of course, there's area chap. So we're basically stuck in here battle with Diglett's the exact same level. I'm weaker on HP. Luckily, it does seem content to drop her accuracy. Which I'm not happy about, but I mean, it's better than taking damage. Yeah, this time we're going to go ahead and use a potion because we don't want, we're not about to uh, lose like that. Diglett can't escape, so we're basically going to have to waste our Hyper Potion on this. Because I'm not about to uh, lose the Diglett to some stupid mistake like that. It wasn't even a mistake, it was a freak accident. Not, not even an accident, it was literally just uh, a bad luck that you have landed that crit. Connect the dang attack, please. Really, man? 
There's another one HP. Luckily we will connect, and that was very close. We're gonna switch this. Uh, we're gonna switch Nugget out as quickly as we possibly can to uh, avoid any type of damage to him. Last thing is to be area trapped in again with that. Anyway, that brings me to uh, what Pokemon we do have. We have our T3 L Lickitung Nugget. Our this is actually an order we caught them too. That's kind of funny. Nugget our Diglett, as you saw in the battle. Dark Elf our C Dot and Harry our Venonat. Let's see what I am Harry's uh, Harry has. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It has a Light Clay. Fantastic if we had Mr. Mime or anything like that. Or Mime Junior, I believe Mime Junior is fourth gen. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Gone out of there without too much incident, luckily. That was really close in the Diglett to faint. Came so, so very close to fainting right there. We're gonna go ahead, we're actually going to sell our star piece up here and hopefully not have too much of an issue. We're going to sell our star dress and star piece. What do you sell? You're usually the specialty item. Yeah, I don't need your mail. Yeah, nope. We actually meant to sell first, not buy. Dang it. I'm really not used to doing uh, the uh, keyboard. But like I said, for some reason this emulator doesn't allow a uh, controller. I just haven't found a way to do it yet, and I looked. I think I looked pretty confidently. How much do these large mushrooms sell? They, large, they sell for a pretty good price. Yeah, there's no actual reason for a large mushroom in Fisher. And Stardust is worth a thousand, that's fine with me, as well as the story piece is actually worth almost five thousand. And that is fantastic, we just about hit ten thousand right there. Wish we had psychic attacking Pokemon, but we don't. To use that uh, mind plate on. But we have uh, we have four Pokemon, correct? Yeah, I think so. So we're going to go ahead, we're actually going to, uh, no, we're not going to do that. We are going to grab eight potions. I try to bring double the amount of potions that I have, uh, Pokemon. Double the amount of potions, anything. Especially when it comes to Elite Four, I usually have double, you know, ice heals, double everything. Maybe full heals, but I will also use the, uh, specific heals, like ice heals, paralyzed heals, antidotes, and burn heals. I usually get those just in case I don't have full heals, so we can have a backup. Sometimes in lieu of full heal, if I think it's a bit overkill. Because they're a little more expensive overall. He has a Meditite. Or a Medit. Yeah. Either way, we are going to go ahead and we're going to try to take this thing out as fast as we possibly can. Ah, uh, there's the Bide. That's things. Luckily, we, uh, we're actually not going to fall for that. We're going to go for a Super Sonic this turn. We'll still take some damage, but it won't be nearly like that. There we go. Nice and Super Sonic right there. Up in the face again, please. No, we're gonna use bite. But with any luck, that won't even matter because we'll have him faint before the bite takes effect. Which is exactly what happens. We are now going to level to level 11. There we are. Stats are coming along pretty well. We're just going to quickly run back out and we're going to uh, heal up because why not? It's a small gym, it's not exactly a complicated puzzle. And there's nothing all about it that resets, so why not I on the side of caution?
Let's see what well, uh, what, well, we have on these pokes. Harry isn't really going to do much of anything. I believe you have Bide and a few other things. You have the Ox Smash, but you actually have. You have Bide, Hard, and Growl, and your Ox Smash. And then the, uh. We don't really have much there. We can actually skip this guy over, but I think that it's in our better interest to get as much, uh, experience as possible, because that first guy at level 11. I'm thinking that probably going to, uh, there will probably be a theme for that. But the, we might be able to underlevel for this gym. Excuse me, I've been trying not to yawn, but crap, this came out. Good thing we have enough bulk to go around, we don't need to worry about the uh, minus one on it. At least not, at least not immediately. Poison gas will fortunately miss us, and this should hopefully take it out. There we go. Skunk tank or a skunky is out pretty quick. We are actually going to bring out our. What are we going to bring out here? We're going to bring out Nugget, just for the switch chain capability. We really should have done that. Oh well, we did do it at the uh, appropriate time. What are you going to match no? Don't be Dark Void. It's Galarius, so we're actually going to get a uh, Paralysis out of it. But still, it's not Dark Void, but it's a status move, I guess. Which kind of stinks. We will, of course, connect that pretty easily. We get on the first try, which is why I say it's easily. Hopefully it hits itself in the face. It does not actually end up using Growl again. Our attack falls even more, because you know we totally don't need that to take him out or anything. And then he's gonna drop our attack once more. I mean it hits itself this time. Yay. But we get full paralyzed, so we can't. Uh, we cannot capitalize on it. Snaps out of confusion, goes in for another metronome. Please be something like self destruct. Grass knot. Oh yeah. And I cannot move for paralysis. something that hurts you also. Or you can harden and up your defense after my taxes gel. That's fantastic. I don't even know quite what we want to do here. We're going to, we are going to bring in Nugget because I don't think it has a flying move naturally. Be something useless. Wave. Not useless. I mean, it didn't do too much though, so there's a uh, silver lining, I suppose. Bone Club. All right. Wow. Good thing that only. Uh, good thing that's not uh, Bone Ring. That would have taken us out very easily. I'm going to go ahead and switch into Dark Elf now. Kind of spitting the love, I guess, evenly. I know it's actually going to be neutral. In fact, it's not even going to be neutral because it is a uh, because of the uh, flying type. It will be resisted. At... No, it is neutral because of the flying type. We're confused. We, of course, we hit ourselves first time under the confusion. That does like nothing. Wow, I, I mean it wasn't even it wasn't stabbed, but I didn't expect too much, but still, it's like wow. 
how you hurt yourself on a buy. The, 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 mere, the, the simple point of buy is not to hurt yourself. It's literally just sit there and just wait to be attacked. Luckily, you do snap back confusion. Hopefully, it gets a metronome into something reasonably powerful but doesn't faint us. First turn's kind of a wash. Hopefully, second turn will actually be something useful. Something that actually damages us. But nope, he's gonna go ahead and confuse us this time. Again. Heal Bell, of course. Okay, never mind. Heal Bell is uh, for status, there's no status. We're bringing him back, Lick Tongue. We're bringing Lick Tongue back in, I mean. Just had a bit of a yo yo moment out there. Oh, uh, well, it's a good thing I'm not going after you, a flying type of an earthquake anyway. But, uh, you know, I guess it kind of categorizes one of those useless moves, and I'm happy it happened. I'm going to drop our attack by one. Hopefully it won't matter, our attack is okay, but our special attack is actually better, which is kind of screwed up when you think about it. Get some mud bomb. Dropping accuracy now as well. We do finally take it out, but it takes a crit. I do think that crit definitely did matter. Well, Nugget hits level 9, that's nice. Defense is still pretty crappy, but physical attack is pretty solid, and speed is, of course, very fast. Dark Elf will also level up, making its highest, well, its highest stats HP, that's most of the time what happens. Its defense is actually alright, though. On most, pro on most uh, Pokemon up until I say like level 20 or 30, the HP should always be higher. There's very few exceptions. The way I see it. We could have, of course, used potions there, but I really didn't want to use the potions right then. And it wouldn't have solved much of anything, really. We're actually going to save the game right here, because we can. And 3 hours 50, uh, 53 minutes, mainly because I've had to uh, redo my stuff so much. And for some reason, the, uh, the save, it saves, but it doesn't save the progress, it just saves the time. It's, it's really screwed up. I couldn't even explain to you why it happens that way, but it does. Let's do this. He brings out an Abbey. I am not 100% sure what Abbey has at the uh, at this point. And it's uh, level 1. Looks like all it has is Teleport, perhaps. I mean, I'm hoping that's all it has. It might have Tackle, though. But so far, all we've seen is Teleport, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, say that that's the... Uh, doesn't, doesn't have the... It doesn't have anything other than Teleport. Honestly, I'm okay with him wanting to just... If he wants to use all his potions on his uh, Abbey, and that's cool to me. It means that whatever comes next, I don't have to worry about healing up. But it doesn't look like he'll have the opportunity to use, him, uh, use more than one. There goes Abra. Hit level 12. Our defenses are identical, but we do have a special attack up by 2, and our speed's pretty pitiful. And in comes a Magby. I think I might want to go into uh, Nugget, but I think I don't know that I do. Let's take a look at the moves. I think he has Sand Attack, right? Yes, he does. We're going to go into Nugget. Might be a bad decision, but I'm hoping it will pay off. Just for the simple fact of uh, resistance. 
Well, this thing's five levels higher than us, so I am not too encouraged, but we are pretty fast still. I'm going to go ahead and ember us. This is down to five HP. It's pretty crazy. Kind of shows that we can't do much about it, but we're going to go ahead and take what we can get. And we are going to allow it to be that way. We're going to allow it to be minus one on the accuracy, is what I'm trying to say. The downside here is we could still possibly be, uh, still possibly be burned. And that hurts the attack. And we don't have any burn heals, it's just... It's a mess. Hopefully the confusion will pay off for us here. Luckily we do avoid that attack. Here, here comes the tackle. The tackle does an all right chunk. Hits itself in the confusion. More tackle, and it ends up as a crit. We take out that magby. Well, we do get a burn from the uh, flame body, which really kind of sucks. So we just need to hope whatever he brings in next is really fail on the defensive side. In is coming his uh, trim plup. How on earth does he have a wire? I don't even know. How does he have a pl uh, trim plup? It makes no sense to me. We don't have any grass attacks in Dark Elf, but we're going to have to pretty much bring him in. We just need to hope that, uh, I don't even know, this might be his ace, so it might actually end up uh, being bad for us. No, his ace, I believe, was actually his Magby. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead, we're, we're going to abide here and hope that we survive two turns. We're actually faster, which is a good sign. That was a crit, huh? I'm all for crits uh, when it does half, uh, less than half my HP. Okay, my turn. Hopefully that'll do it. It does. Take out Pimplup just like that. And that was a uh, that was an interesting battle right there. We actually will level up to level 10 with our Dark Elf. Good thing our defense is so good for, uh, for what it is. And as it was a uh, starter, you get a lot of leveling out of it. We actually hit level 11 as well out of that, which I am not complaining about. But 11 will be the uh, end of that. Directors, so you have a bunch of operators and you have directors. It's uh, almost seems like it's a hospital, almost. So it's like the last uh, last Nuzlocke Leaf Green, or the last uh, version of Nuzlocke felt like it was uh, sponsored by uh, pharmaceutical companies or supplement companies. This one feels like it's kind of feels like it's a uh, theater. An operating theater. With a director and operators assist. We will get TM76, which is... What should it be? It should be Stealth Hero. What is it actually? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. It is me first. Uh, it's an okay move. What can learn Stealthy Ox in our team? It's not really a move I would have picked, but the only thing I can learn is actually Diglett. Or his Nugget, so... I don't really know that we want to use me first on Nugget, but... I mean, I guess we kind of could. Anyway, with that, uh, with that, we're actually going to go ahead and heal up, and I will start my A out show. So thank you all very much for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please remember to like this video up and comment if there's anything you'd like to comment about. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video if you think others you know will enjoy it. I really do appreciate all these things, and I, as I said, I appreciate your viewership. And we will be uploading episode 7, where we start, uh, start towards the second gym, obviously. We're going to uh, be uploading that on Sunday. So that will be two days from the, when this uploads. Exactly two days down to the minute. Because I'm just anal that way. And I have it scheduled that way. So I, I hope you all, like I said, enjoy. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all very much for coming. And see you all next time.